Well, last night's Bemidji School Board meeting provided a few updates to a few projects happening around the district. First, the new Gene Dillon Elementary School continues to progress. The lobby and cafeteria have now been enclosed. A roofing contractor was expected on site today. Officials are also looking into furniture that would support STEM classes. Tours for community members could be a possibility for late January or early February. The interior masonry walls are complete in area C except for the burnished block on the north corridor wall. Uh, mechanical and electrical rough-ins are proceeding. The fire protection piping is being installed and the iron workers are nearing completion of the main structure and they should be completed by December the 29th. The board is also still looking for someone to fill a vacancy left by former school board member Bill Favor, who resigned. This person would take on the role for the 11 months starting in February. You know, it's, a, it's an opportunity to learn more about board service. It's an opportunity to learn more about the details of the workings of ISD 31. And, it's, and for, most importantly, it's an opportunity to be an advocate for the students of our community and um, to work with, work with staff, work with teachers, work with folks that um, make that um, a part of their work days. The Bemidji School District also made the decision to hire School Exec Connect to aid in their search for a new superintendent. Dr. Hess is expected to retire at the end of the school year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.